everyone, it's Farah here and this video is going to be the unboxing of the uh, electric breast, breast pump by Medela. It's the InStyle Advance in the tote bag and what it comes with basically everything's in one bag right here. Okay, so it comes in this tote bag, which comes in pretty handy. I plan to use this as a diaper bag as well. One side has a velcro opening that you can just shove whatever. I usually like to put phones and wallets on the side so it's easier to, just, you know, take out. So that's cool. Sides have um, little compartments as well so you can put small stuff if you want. Now on the other side, right here you can zip up and you can see the pump is right here and then it also comes with a disposable nursing breast uh, nursing bra pads but I bought a whole set myself anyway and the little instructions sheet just gonna keep them right here for now it's a double pump so then you can actually connect two tubes and do you know both sides at once and then you can arrange the um, pump level it takes a 9 volt adapter this comes with um, a portable one and the you know, the wall outlet one what do you call the outlet Oh, the battery pack is a portable one and then the 9 volt AC adapter. Now inside this bag, um, a bit more of the warning instructions. Um, so it's pretty heavy. This is the power adapter that I was talking about. It's a 9 volt AC adapter. So that's good for, you no. Know, using it at home. Put that aside. And then where's the other adapter? Or Okay, and then this is the other power source, which is a battery pack. Oops, oops. And it takes eight, eight uh, AA batteries. And I'm guessing it would drain pretty easily. This one is a 12 volt DC 2 amp adapter goes away, and then inside this bag, it comes with a little cooling bag as well. That's basically it. And in here is basically where the um, the pump is. We'll get back to it later. Now in this bag, this is a little handy cooler bag I guess you can say and it comes with basically four bottles Oops, like that and an uh, ice pack to keep your milk being warm and it's pretty good as a divider inside this little bag as well now it comes with four bottles okay I guess I don't need that anymore now let's try to assemble the pump. It's my first time doing this as well. I have no clue. But let's let's give this a try. I obviously I have not sterilized anything yet because I'm not really I'm not pumping yet. Though I kind of do want to just because I read the instruction and it told me not to never pump while pregnant because it can induce labor and I kind of want to do that. But I kind of want it natural as well. I'll see it after like 34 weeks. I mean, no, 38 weeks, maybe I'll do that. So it comes with the shield. Um, and in the shield, there's a little... Uh, what do you call this little part? I don't see a name for it. <laughs> but there's this little vent thing that I heard that you have to have that in there in order for the um, suction to work. Comes with two shields and two more of these little pads. 
so I guess extras. So let's try one side. So you put the breast pump. So there's the two tubes. They say to sterilize them before use, I think. Also comes with the manual as well, so I'm gonna take a look and see how to assemble it. So we got the shield on the bottle. Now, this is the tubing. Um, the side with the yellow nozzle goes in here. I guess that's it. And this side goes in to this right here. And there's a little knob here that you can kind of cover up one side if you just want to do um, breast, like if you just want to be pumping on one side, not double. And obviously you'll be putting in the uh, AC adapter. I'm not going to do that today. I'll try that out next time. And basically what you'll have to do is start it if there's power. And then um, it says around approximately two minutes it'll finish with the simulation phase and it'll go into the express expression phase. And if you have let down, then you just press the let down button like right here. Oh, I like the feel of it. But yeah, and then if you need to increase the suction on the pump, just, you know, increase it. I just kind of opened up this sample. My breast pump Okay, I guess that's why it's better to keep it in the box. How do I put it back in? But I guess if you want to, you can kind of take it out of the, the bag and um, just take this to pump at home, obviously. This is good for on the go. If you are at work, then you can uh, pump while you're at work. Okay, now it's got it. Yeah, it looks nicer with the little cover on top. Now I have to somehow put it back in there. So I guess it does look a lot better inside the bag. Oops, I screwed it up. It's kind of hiding at the back. Huh. I'll reassemble it properly later on, but basically it's something like that, and um, it's fairly simple. I like the bag a lot actually, because I can actually use it for you know on the go, or if I really need to pump outside of work, I mean outside of home, I think it's okay. And if I want to bring the baby out, it's not too heavy. So I wouldn't mind just keeping the breast pump right here while using this as a diaper bag anyway, just just because. Or just get another diaper bag anyway, because this one's just kind of boring and black. But I could carry a lot of the stuff all in here. Yep, um, I am looking forward to using this. Maybe I'll use this to induce labor. Who knows? But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Enjoy.